Hello, welcome back. My name is Sue and I'm from OML Embroidery and uh, we're going to do something really fun today. So we're going to do the coffee mug and it's a free design from Creative Kiwi and uh, you can download it and stitch along with me. I love the one that Creative Kiwi did, but I'm going to kick mine up a notch. So you're ready to see what I picked? Ready? Boom. There we go. Isn't that awesome? So I am going to have a groovy mug rug. Now this is vinyl and it has texture on it. You can, I don't know how well you can see it, but there's, it's like fuzzy, slightly fuzzy. And this is black felt, just plain old black felt. And that's going to be for the label and everything. So I'm going to use a lot of black thread and gold for the word coffee. Um, and I think there's a little heart on it. And then I'm just going to match it all up with black felt on the back. So easy peasy lemon squeezy. I think this will look really good. I'm hoping anyways. I also used this fabric on our monster bookmark. So that's what it looks like. Minus the green, of course, minus the green. But I like him. I keep him out all the time. So, and then I have batting. So I have the warm and natural batting, which seems to work really well for me. I love it. It's way better than the crappy stuff Don was buying for me. So, oh yeah. Um, can you go get them for me, Don? They're just right over there. Yeah. We have just a thank you announcement continuing on Lynn's uh, quilt. Donna Judd sent a huge box of quilt squares and Don just got them for me. There we go. Just put them down and then you'll have to take them back or something. Yeah. A whole bunch different sizes, different colors. They are awesome. Look at that. Beautiful. So these are, are just, you know, quilt squares. I uh, sent a picture to Lynn because, of course, we can't see Lynn. Isn't that beautiful? I Look, and guys. then there's some smaller ones, and then there's some bigger ones. Totally amazing. Ooh, that's AccuQuilt. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. Look, isn't that gorgeous? So every color you could think of, every size you can think of, every color. I said that already, but it's amazing. <laughs> So um, a big, huge thank you to Donna Judd. We really appreciate it. Lynn was very, very, very excited to hear about it. So thank you. Um, it's going to be fun when the world gets rocking and rolling. It's going to be a lot of fun to put that together. I'm going to enjoy it. And uh, when I can see Lynn again, hi, Lynn, by the way. Um, we'll put it all together and she can, you know, pick the colors and pick how she wants it done. So lots of fun there. So all you need for this one is, you know, your label, your back and your front and batting. And of course I have my hoop ready to go with some really nice water soluble stabilizer so we can have a nice edge, uh, at the end. So it looks like your nails match the fabric. Um, they're kind of, it, it's kind of a trick. So it looks all gold. And then when you move the nails, you can see a little bit of the red underneath. I just thought it was really groovy. Not as fancy as I normally do, but I just felt like sparkling today. Just sparkling. And it says good morning. Lynn, <laughs> hi Lynn. Hi Lynn, everyone say hi Lynn. So yeah, that's my nails for today. Just different. I just didn't feel like doing a fancy design, I guess. So are we ready to rock and roll? Yes, we are. We have everything we need. So the first thing going down is batting. So let's go over to McDreamy. He's ready to rock and roll my McDreamy. Done? All right, here we are. So two things I always say is don't cut your ba your um, water soluble stabilizer down like this. I do it because of the camera. If I had a big piece here, you guys wouldn't be able to see as well. Also, I'm using black thread because I'll be using that for most of it. Um, and it, it's, it might show through. I use it for the videos. 
Uh, so you guys can see the stitch out. If I were to use white, which is what I would normally do, you guys wouldn't be able to see it on the stabilizer. So McDreamy, McDreamy, McDreamy. So I'm just checking. Debbie Mitchell. Hi, Lynn. Glad you're in your new home. Yeah, I think she's pretty happy. Bob and Chuck, I looked, but let's look again. Yeah, it's about three quarters full. I think we'll do it. No thread chicken today, guys. Sorry. And I have a huge uh, spool of black. And you guys saw the Kingstar Metallic for the gold. So we got a nice view today. Um, I'm really happy with the view. The lighting's good. Uh, camera could be up a little bit more, but meh. Oh, Sandy. Thank you very much, Sandy. I think I missed one up there. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do for this Satin Stitch Finish Mug Rug by Creative Kiwi, check them out, they got lots of deals going on, um, is the uh, outline for the whole thing. So let's start with that. And there's two sizes in this design. And there's the 5 by 7 and then there's a smaller 4x4 four four that you can put a pocket on, and it's for, like, gift cards or whatever. See, that's bigger than I thought. That'll be cool. Is this one for you, Don? I should have made it Tim Hortons colors, because that's what Don really likes. There we go. Nice outline. Fantastic idea. So, then, I know my piece is too big, but we will uh, cut it down shortly. So lay down your batting, and because I have my short sides, I'm just going to flatten it out. And the next step is going to put that down for us. Stitch it down. Creative Kiwi usually does it twice, so everything's nice and solid down. There we go. Watch my fingers, I know. Do as I say, not as I do. I try to be careful. Yeah, looking good. I like it. At least you could see the black really well. Does that camera need to be up a little bit, Dawn? It does. Um, maybe a little bit, but it's not. I wouldn't worry too much about it. Uh, oh. What? Yeah, that's good. Much better? Let me see. Yeah, because I'm looking at it on my iPad and it's like, oh, yeah, that's yeah you can see the side side. of the hoop nicely. Yeah. Okay, so let's take this off and we're going to go back to the desk, Don. Right. And desk. Desk. All right, I'm going to grab my duckbill scissors and I always like to trim on the desk so I can move everything around. Sometimes I trim on the machine, but I don't really want all these fluffies all over my machine. So at the desk, you can get a better cut, a better trim. Duck build scissors, doing it properly. The bill part protects it from, you know, gouging out your water sol soluble stabilizer, which would make everything shift. So we don't want that. So we're going to trim, we're going to trim very nicely. Yeah, I'm on today. I've had some off stitch alongs, but I think I'm doing much better today. Always take your time with the trimming. Um, if you are sewing along with me and you need more time, just finish up and then you can catch up. So... Or you can skip if you're a slow trimmer, which there's nothing wrong with that. You can skip the cutting out. You don't have to do it right at this point. I just, because I had so much extra, I wanted to do that. Not bad. Not bad. It's a good trimming day. Looks good. Next step is we're going to put a gorgeous fabric over. Over, over. Yes. All right. Back to McDreamy. Back to McDreamy. All right, so this step is going to stitch the fabric down, and at the same time, it's going to give us placement for our label and lid. I forgot to mention the lid. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm still sticking with the black. This is gorgeous. 
And I only have a little bit of this left, but isn't that awesome? Ooh, look at that. I like the little ledge, the puffy ledge it creates like that. That's awesome. You can use a little bit of spray if you want for your fabric. This is kind of thick and sturdy stuff, so I didn't worry about it. But if that makes you feel better and get a more, you know, a more solid flat, uh, iron your fabric. Obviously not this kind of fabric, but generally iron your fabric. And it'll make everything look better. So there's the lid. Nice. I am going to have the grooviest coffee mug. Or tea. I used to get tea in a takeout mug. Not anymore, though. There's the label that I've been talking about. So we have nice lines to work with. It's kind of, the lines are kind of not digging in, but it's a little bit hard for you guys to see it, I think. Is that a better view, Don? Yeah. I want to put a camera right here. <laughs> right here. Right underneath. I actually liked the um, McDreamy cam that we had. Maybe we can do that. Needle cam, yeah. I like the view that that gave. So we're covering, let me move it here. We're covering this part and this part. So it's just as easy to do one piece, but you just want to make sure you're covering the correct portions of it. You could use scraps and you could do different colors for each part. I'm just going to do it all in one. I really dislike this. Um, felt that I have. Now it's black on black, you might not be able to see it very well, but we'll be able to get around that. But you could do a white lid or a design lid or brown. Creative Kiwi did brown on it, which is awesome. So that's one. That's the lid. Do they have black lids? Uh, I guess. I guess. It's a coffee cup-ish, as I've been saying lady, lately goldfish-ish, jellyfish-ish. It's just fun. Just fun stuff. So, two appliques on this one, which is awesome. My felt is really, really thick, so I'm, I'm going to hope that it cuts properly for me. So, okay, as soon as he's done his little dance, back to the desk, Don. Desk is up. Desk is up. You're fast that time. Catching up. All right, so might be difficult for you guys to see. I'm not going to worry about how my duck bills are positioned. Yeah, it's a little bit difficult, but you know what? I should be able to do it quite well. What's happening in the chat, Dawn? I don't have a desk view. It doesn't fit anymore. They said yes to black lids. Yeah, why not? You can be creative and do anything that you want. You don't have to stick to the norms. That's why I always say, think outside the box. If you have fabric that you just really happen to like, I just really happen to like this one, use it. Why not? Bright colors. Well, I'm not doing bright colors, but I'm doing groovy fabric. So, yeah. Take your time. This is really, really thick felt. I don't think it's the good kind. I just... Kind of grabbed it. What? Uh, I was going to ask you if you got the question about craft felt, but I think you did. Craft felt? Yeah, can you use craft felt? Yeah. What is it your... Oh, this is just like dollar store felt, and it's really <clears throat> thick, and I don't know, I can see it, I don't know if you can, but it's not very well put together. That's That's the difference. It's thick, but it has some spots can you see through it i don't know a little bit of see through yeah there's uh this is really thick here that you can't see through it but this is really thin and it might there can you see how thin it is it's hard to see, hard uh, to see yeah i can see it but i don't know how to show it to you guys so that's the difference so whatever kind of felt you have uh, just feel free to use it. This is thick, so you have to be a little more careful cutting it out. And, of course, I stitched black on black, which is fine. It makes it look good. This is going to be awesome. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. 
Um, we went, when we went last year, or the year before, was it last year? Yep. To uh, North Carolina for the Anita Good Design uh, garage sale where we got all the goodies for you guys. Um, we stopped off at Walmart because Walmarts in Canada don't carry fabric. And I bought a couple of large um, bolts, I guess, mini bolts of uh, felt. You and don't carry fabric like they do down there. No, no, we had a party. And what's that? Oh, we went to Joanne's for the first time. I was actually a little overwhelmed because it's awesome. It was awesome. So, what do you guys think? That looks good. Just going to double check my work. All right. So, the next step is that we're going to be doing the satin stitches on the two appliques. Yep, I'm loving it. Back to McDreamy, Don. McDreamy's up. He's fast. You were a little slow starting I before. Had coffee today. Oh, okay, that's good. <laughs> that's always good. There we go. So I'm using black. You can, of course, use any color that you want. So lovely zigzag stitch that's going to hold everything down. That's one of my favorite parts about applique. It just, you know, pushes the fabric down and makes it really, really, really nice edges. And I love it. That's my, that's my favorite. So, all right. Love your nails. Thank you. Thank you. I had fun doing them. I just wanted something different. And I thought I am just going to sparkle today. Sparkle, sparkle. I am going to put my iPad over here so I'm closer to the mic. 227 watching. Woohoo! That's awesome. Need more, but it's awesome. That's a lot of fabric. Yep. Yep. Who is this mug rug for today? Well, I was going to say Don, but he may or may not appreciate the um, pattern. <laughs> I'm not sure. You could do that? Yeah. You're man enough for that? I'm manly. All right. So, um, yeah, Don. For once, this one's for Don. You could put... You know, you could personalize this and you could put, there's a, a nice space in between the two appliques where you could put someone's name because the word coffee is going to, um, the word coffee is going to go here. So we're going to do a heart. Should I give you a black heart? Don? A black heart? <laughs> no. No. Why do you do that? <laughs> Because I didn't want to change threads. Red heart. No, I'm not doing red. Gold heart? Yes. Jeez. Demanding over there, isn't he? Well, for me, I can't customize it. No. <laughs> no, we customize it. That's how it's done. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Remember what we came up with last time? We did last minute. Uh, see, Misha says, no, do a red one. <laughs> do a red one. I suppose, but you it's know what? Red, she says. It's gold and sparkly today. The gold matches my nails, so I'm going with that. Deal with it, Dawn. All right, loading up the metallic gold. Hopefully, it looks awesome. This isn't actually gold colored, but I think it should stand out enough. Almost as good as a red heart, okay. <laughs> Ah, is the Norseman in the house? I haven't said hi to enough people yet. I don't know if Mom's watching, but hi, Mom. I know Lynn is. Metallic red. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. So we got Misha, Sandy. What other mods do we have in here? Heart of Gold. Yeah, well, don't give Dawn a fat head either. Yeah, I love it. I love it. So, as always, I want to thank all of the moderators in the chat here you guys are awesome and also in the oml embroidery university facebook group i couldn't do it without you guys i love your enthusiasm is cindy king in the house hi cindy hi cindy hi. oh karina yay hi karina i'm sorry i saw the norseman i should have realized that you were there too i only have like a small view of what's going on so what do we think 
What do we think of the heart? Yeah, I kind of like it. All right, now we're going to write the word coffee. Now, you could, in your software, you could delete the word coffee and then put Don's coffee or just move the word coffee down if you have a font. I would put Don's here and leave the coffee. So there's lots of room for personalization. You can put the name at the bottom and slightly curve it to match this curve right here. Um, a lot of things you can do. I love it. So let's just do the way Creative Kiwi did. That would be um, cool. Oh, I did say hi to mom. Why doesn't she see the chat? I don't, because the way she watches, I have to make sure. Oh, 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 okay, well, yeah. All right, gold and black. We know that looks awesome. Yes, everyone's saying you have a heart of gold. You guys are funny. <laughs> we're all mad here. Misha says to the Norsemen, we're all mad here. <laughs> Oh, Sandy, this will, mine will be for my son. His birthday is next week. Well, happy early birthday to your son. Are you going to customize it and put his name on it? Because I think that would be cool. You could also, if it's for a guy, you could also replace the heart with, um, you know, another symbol, whatever, whatever he's into. That would be easy enough. There's a way to make it not so girly, <laughs> girly appearance. Um, I like it. Ah! What? Why do you do that? Because <laughs> I do. You're such a big guy and he creeps up behind me. Don. <laughs> Jeebus. <laughs> I just heard the delay. <laughs> he's laughing twice because he's got a headphone in so we can hear it. Whew. Whew, whew, whew. <laughs> too funny he scared me yeah I stomp your feet or something it's funny how he can do it he does it all the time that he just he, he walks so quietly Beatrice thumps like an elephant of course we have our two hounds um, sa same thing they're loud Don can't hear him Sam you can't hear her nerf gun Oh, yeah, well, you've legitimately scared me. I'm not, I'm not pretending. Nerf gun. I always have a Nerf gun duct tape underneath my desk. James Bond style. I'm at a different desk, so I don't have it, or else I may have shot him with a Nerf. But, you know. Okay, so now we are going to stitch out... We're going to go to black. So remember to always pull your thread the, in the direction that the thread goes. We don't want to mess up any tensions. And I'm going to do lots of black. Lots of black. I love the Kingstar Metallic gold thread. It looks spectacular with a dark background. Actually, I love all of the metallic thread, but this one especially. So I am putting black back on McDreamy and we're going to start doing some of these uh, gorgeous satin stitches. So let's do that. And it's just going to fill in the bottom here and the spaces in between. So I'm going to be doing it all in one color, but you could do it in different colors if you want, because the cup is a different color than the label and everything. So. Yeah, it is going to, Lori says, this is going to be cool looking. I'm, I'm hoping, I like to think outside the box. You know what I was thinking that would be really cute is like a Halloween one or a Christmas one, like Christmas colors, Christmas coffee. Wouldn't that be cute, Don, in the live, in the living room? I think that would be really cute. Chris Yost, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. My hubby, Misha says, my hubby, hubby purposefully sneaks up behind, sneaks up on me because I'm easily starter, startled. Um, I, Don's not allowed to do that. Um, heart attack wife, I say, I play that card when I need to. Uh, it, yeah, in general, it's not cool to scare me, 
so yeah peppermint hot chocolate yeah christmas cocoa you can put those words on in your software whatever software you have and uh i think that's it's very versatile you could do a lot of things with this yeah just and by christmas i mean like christmas colors have um I've got some really gorgeous uh, candy cane stripe fabric. Wouldn't that be awesome? With red or green felt here and a different color for the lid, you could easily do that. Look how fantastic that black looks on the leopard print. I love it. I love it. I always think outside the embroidery box. I try to come up with different ideas. So just the one that Creative Kiwi did is fantastic but I'm gonna glam it up a little bit just because uh, my friend's last name is coffee well that's perfect that isn't it you don't need to change anything that's awesome someone suggested in the chat it's rolled up already so I can't see it instead of a heart you can put a little mini wrench you could you could do a lot of things I think there would be a lot of different um, you know, whatever they're into, a little computer keyboard, or some kind of a tool sort of thing. I, I think that would be awesome. I'm loving the heart, but you never know. All right, that's looking good. Loving the black and gold. I, I'm pretty happy. Um, May Day is coming. You'll need to do flowers or May Day pull. I am going to have to look up what May Day is. Uh, in Canada, we don't have that. We have the uh, May 2-4 weekend, which everyone uses to drink, but they won't be doing that this year. <laughs> yeah, I like that. It's Vic Queen Victoria. It's Victoria Day. It's Queen yeah. Victoria. It birthday. always rains anyway, so they can stay home and stay dry. <laughs> All right, so if you're using different colors, which I'm wondering, should I use gold? Because what we're doing here is we're going to do the satin stitches here. So what do you guys think? Maybe gold? I, I, I. Yeah, you know what? Change of plan right in the middle of stitching. I think it might bring it all together. Or it'll look like a uh, gold member's cup right too much gold gold member no not funny don yes gold member. no Somebody said that earlier oh did they yeah <laughs> not or gold gold finger i think gold yeah. finger it was the um groovy baby yeah what's his austin name powers. austin powers they did gold member which of course i find hilarious so we're going to outline the label and we're going to define the cup and it's going to be gold and hopefully it's going to look fantastic. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Sorry, sorry, McDreamy. Sorry. I get so excited. I forgot to do something. And that's something I forgot to do is thread it. Ha! So excited. Too much. So let's actually thread thanks and i am going to roll it back because i don't want to miss the tie-in stitch so i know it only did a couple before i caught it but the tie-in stitch is what's going to hold everything together so take a minute to bring it back oh too far too far just the one where it changed okay way too far there we go we uh don't want to miss the tie-in stitch because that's what keeps all the ends together. So, whoops, sorry about that. Uh, did the Norse one say a little skull instead of the heart? That would be groovy. Maybe you guys can talk Don into sharing some of his micro mini embroidery designs. Because he's got a lot. Because I think that would be cool. A gold skull. Or silver and it can be like a crystal skull. All right, so the problem with the cheap felt that I'm using is it's thick and thin. So it's not, you know, it's better to 
get nicer felt and you can see through it the st satin stitches so it's not the designer's fault it's my fault for using such thick fabric I think it'll look okay it's just not the coverage that we really want for it but meh. it's only for dawn right I think I like the gold you guys will be able to see it more when it stitches over here I I think this is the blingiest creative kiwi mug yeah, Don can. Um, I'll, I'll go through and pick up a few. Yeah, I'm just trying to think of all the ones that we have in our uh, clip art. I have a lot art. better ones. Pot of gold. That would be cute. Please share, Don. Yeah, well, you have to convince them. With uh, do we have enough likes? So. Leah says, I had embroidery issues the other day, but thanks to watching you when you have an issue, I didn't get upset. I just backed everything up and restitched what I messed up. Good for you. Good for you. Didn't that feel good? Awesome. Um, I call that troubleshooting, and um, I think that's awesome. So good for you. Yes, it's always best to stay calm. Oh, Karina wants you to put the micro ones in Don's den. I think that's a great idea. Uh, Don is the uh, master of micro stitching. He is somehow, I can't do it like he does, mastered them. And he can do just about anything. It's awesome. I love the embellishment that Don creates for the projects. Yeah, I know. Now, we have the May door coming up. So next Saturday, that's what we are going to be stitching. Um, I haven't put anything up about it because I have no idea what it looks like. Um, but I think it's going to be gorgeous. So spring showers bring forth May flowers. So I'm going to guess there's going to be... Um, I think it's going to be like flowery and bright and I'm going to hopefully be able to try something cool. Um, I am loving the gold around the label too. I think that was an excellent change. You know, never be afraid to do stuff on the fly, guys. Just, I just looked at it. It's hard to tell when you're looking at it on the screen. You know, you see, okay, this will look good, this will look good, but... Of course, when I saw the gold on the black, I was like, yeah, I got, I got to do more of that. So it's worth a try. I mean, if, if you don't like it, then just stitch another one with different colors. It's going to be my diva. Diva. It's going to be a diva when I I, I, I don't think so. <laughs> I just don't know, Dawn. Hey. Dawn. Yep, I like the gold. It looks even better with the the motif stitch around it. It's awesome. Alicia, thank you very much. Thank you. Bling it up with gold thread. Yeah, why not? It's blingy. Diva Dawn. Everyone can feel free to call him. We'll call him Dee Dee. <laughs> Yeah, it's not perfect, but it doesn't have to be. Um, does anyone know how the King Star Metallics works on the Bernina machines? As far as I know, King Star Metallic works on every machine. I have never heard um, of anybody complaining about it at all. I, <laughs> Lillian Hansen, I love coffee, but not as much as I love Jesus. Well, good to know. Thanks, Sue and Don. You are very welcome. Thank you for donating. Yeah, see, the coverage isn't... It isn't perfect, uh, but it's okay. You can see some of the black through, but you know what? Minor detail, that was... The, you know, that's why you should invest in good fabric. Sometimes you can get away with the cheap stuff, but I should have held the felt up. Um, I should have picked up on how thick it was and then figured it out from there. But I didn't. 
Uh, just maybe it's an older mug. That's what we can say. Can you do that step over to give it better coverage? You could, but I don't think it's necessary. I think satin stitches over satin stitches. I think you're risking like a lot of push-pull compensation sort of thing. Um, and breaking needles. You're not really meant to do it that way. So I'm not going to worry about it. It, it doesn't... It doesn't ever have to be perfect. I'll guarantee you, if I show this mug to other people, they will just go, wow. They won't scrutinize it as much as you do. So they won't say, wow, I think that black should have, or that gold should have more coverage. It's, you know, they won't notice that. It, or if they do, it won't matter. Yep, yep. I learned that um, a long time ago. I wanted everything to be perfect, and I would just, you know, go nuts over it. And you can also see when the um, motif stitch goes over it, it kind of covers it up. So, no, I wouldn't do a double. But uh, a long time ago, I spent hours and hours and hours making everything perfect. And that was just how I did my work. But then I realized it doesn't matter as much as you think it does. Um, nothing is perfect. Perfect is a manufacturer. And they do the same thing 10 million times. Then it's perfect, right? So we, we're not a manufacturer. So I just take little things like that is something that makes it original. Ooh, the Norseman, thank you very much. Nice, nice picture. He looks a lot like a younger you, Don. Kind of. So yeah, don't be too hard on yourself about things, especially with digitizing too. I always say that play around with it, get it how you like it for the fishish and the um, gold fishes. Go no, jellyfish ish. It's hard to say. And my brain like stopped there like what are you trying to say yeah it doesn't have to be perfect if you like it then that's perfect enough but remember nobody is uh like putting it right up to their face looking for mistakes so they just they just won't so be easy on yourself oh Rono, thank you very much Ronog donates and Karina and the Norseman and Sandy donates every show. Did you know that? Yeah, there's a lot of that. We really appreciate it. A unicorn. <laughs> I saw that actually. The Norseman put up a on his donation thing did a picture of a very happy unicorn with a rainbow mane and tail. Very manly. Thank you. Maybe that's to go with your mug rug, Don. You guys will be able to see the the gold much better. Oh, I'm so happy. I love it. I love it! So, I think we're getting towards the end. So, I think the next step is going to be... After this is done, obviously. We're going to do some careful trimming and put the back on. So, yay! Do you get to keep all of the donations or does YouTube keep some of it? Um, I get to keep all of it. YouTube does not take anything from it, which is really cool and makes a big difference. There's no service fees. There's nothing to pay YouTube. So yes, we get all of it and we try to put it to good use. We roll it back into the channel with better cameras, better lighting, groovy fabric. Um, so yes, and thank you very much. It is what is keeping us going right now is the donations because for some reason there are a lot less people watching the videos. The It's gone down by about 20% the views, which I kind of thought it would be opposite, but I don't know. I guess because everyone's making masks and stuff. From another Sandy. Thank you very much, another <laughs> Sandy. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is looking good. Looking good. This is the blingiest mug rug ever, Don. Did you know that? It is. Kinda is. 
340. That's awesome. Creative Kiwi rocks, by the way. You'll never be uh, any kind of disappointed when you do Creative Kiwi stuff. Is so It's fantastic. I wanted to know what you guys thought of zipper bags. I would like to uh, delve into zipper bags, groovy ones, Sue ones, different ones. Um, if you guys would like to start doing that, I, I want to do some more bookmarks because those are lovely gifts. Of course, mug rugs are my favorite thing. I'm going to try to bring in some other designers, you know, creative kiwi, that sort of thing. Dwani. Hi, Dwani. We haven't heard from you for a while. Thank you very much. I hope you're doing well. You are amazing. No, you are. No, you are. I'm just being silly. Thank you very much. I love zipper bags. All right. All right. With lace zippers. Yeah, I don't have any of those lace zippers. They certainly are gorgeous. So I want to try to do something different though I don't because everybody makes zipper bags and they're super simple well actually they're not super simple they're a bit complicated you got to follow the instructions but I, I I want a little more shape to it all so I'm gonna figure something out and I think they will be fun to do everyone seems to like that idea so awesome a flower power theme in a zipper bag yeah something springy Okay, so I can see on McDreamy that the next step is the same as the first step. It's an outline. So that means we got to put the backing on. And that also means we got to trim this. We can do it now or after. I guess we can do it after. So I am going to slip my backing felt under. Now with this one, you can still peek. I like to peek under. It's easier to do it that way. If you have it cut out, that's fine. <laughs> peek, peek. <laughs> what? I'm going to show you what the Norseman just sent me in Facebook. What is it? How they're watching? How he's watching. He's in his man cave watching. <laughs> nice. That's awesome. <laughs> I wish you could post it. but Okay, so I just have the felt still the crappy felt but anyways if you're using fabric on the bottom make sure it's face down so the back looks nice too this is when you should change your bobbin to match and actually this is when you don't waste any gold thread because we don't need to stitch with it we need the black or whatever finishing color you're going to use on so phew but this is when i would change the bobbin to black but i don't have one so i'm not gonna ah uh, maybe oh i hit the camera darn it that's one that's one we're gonna start taking we're gonna start betting on it if you keep doing that betting on yeah, it karina and i bet things on it oh do you really yeah. <laughs> look what i happen to have so I'm actually going to do it this time. Not for this one, but I'll change it. Whoop. Boop. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. McDreamy sometimes gets mad if I miss something. And then we can see how the back is supposed to look. I never actually show you guys because I never actually do it. But, you know, that's just me. That's how I roll. So a nice stitch down of the backing. And this is gonna look good. I don't know if it. Oh, McDreamy is a brother dream machine. He's just affectionately known as McDreamy. You can kind of see the lettering when it goes to the other side that I actually have it on the machine. But it's a brother dream machine too, and he is awesome. I love this machine. I would love a Luminaire too, but that is not going to happen anytime soon. So, Brother Dream Machine it is. Do his little dance. Dance McDreamy dance. Back to the um, dusk dawn, please. Desk is up. So, the first thing I do when I bring it back to the desk, can you guys see how cute that is? Oh, yeah. I check to make sure there's no gaps in the back so uh some people will 
take it off the hoop and place it so you can see the coverage and tape it down. But I like to tuck it underneath. And it seems to work very well because you can see through. So let's do our final trim. And whew, this stuff is a little weird to cut. I'm going to have like little furries all over the place. So I definitely would not cut this um, vinyl fabric stuff at the machine because you don't want all those fluffies everywhere in your machine. Try to keep your machine trim free because it really produces lots of fluff and little pieces of stuff. And you don't want that in your machine for sure, for sure. And don't use old thread. <laughs> right, Don? Don't use old thread. I decided yesterday that I have a whole bunch of really old thread that was given to me. So I don't actually know how old it is. But seeing what happened with the purple thread, uh, I'm going to throw out probably half of my thread collection because... I don't use it and I'm afraid it will cost me another $400 like it did before with the purple thread that broke off in very strange places inside McDreamy. He was not happy with that. No. So I decided I'm going to play it safe and uh, stick with newer thread. My favorite right now is the exquisite thread. And it comes in like a, a box, like a plastic box that has all the colors labeled. And I think that is just groovy. So I'll stick with that and make do with the colors and eventually get more. I'm using my duck build scissors backwards. So I'm going to move the hoop around. Now, because I left it white, it is pretty darn easy to cut out because I can see it. Now for my crappy felt, I'm just making little stitches, little stitches, little cuts around the stitches. Get as close as you can to them, but don't cut the stitches. It sure. can't. What? Go ahead. Go ahead. No, it's okay. Sharon said after your mishap with the old thread, she threw out all of hers and got a whole new collection. Yeah, good for you. Good for you. I won't be able to replace because there's a lot of it, but I. I, I'm not going through that again. I think that's a good idea. Now, the thread that I had that I used on McDreamy was uh, properly taken care of. It was, you know, in a drawer, out of sunlight, the whole bit. But it, it was pretty bad on McDreamy. So, yeah, I, do, I just don't know about the other thread. And I'm not going to risk it. So, I'll just uh, slowly start again. It was given to me, so... What's the best way to store it? Um, I always thought the thread racks were the best way to store it, but they aren't because you let the air and humidity and moisture get to it. I think generally it's recommended, you know, in a drawer or someplace covered up sort of thing. I have drawers from Michaels that I use. Isn't that Not awesome? Not in direct sunlight. Not in direct sunlight. It shouldn't Not be... Too dry. Yeah, it shouldn't be like in front of a fan or right at a heating or cooling vent because that'll push more air at it. That's my recommendation. I'm pretty sure the thread is not meant to last, you know, 15 years. It can, depending on the thread, but I just, I just can't make myself do it, so I won't. Can we go back to Mr. McDreamy, please? So I am actually going to change the bobbin. I have my cute little bobbin holder. Only because I have one and only because it's about time I did it properly. I don't know if it's late. Oh, yes, I hit the camera. That's two, Karina. That's two. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. So, just changing over the bobbin. Make sure it's the thread is coming off the right way. Put your little thingy back. Don't forget that. So, this should be gorgeous. So, I did some careful trimming. It's a little bit long. 
I know I never do it. I never. I don't know why. I guess so many times I I had the bobbin sitting there and then I would forget about it and not change it. Go, Darn. And everyone wants to know when to change it. The time is now and I did it. So the back is going to look just as good as everything else. So zigzag stitches i love it before the satin stitches see how it's it's holding especially with this fabric can you see how it's holding it down this might not quite work but it's it's a nice it, i think it gives it more of a finished look to have the zigzag stitches um, like I said, especially for this fabric, it just holds everything down. I'm not going to have anything sticking up or fraying or problems. It's all sorted out. And, you know, if you had a real problem, if you trimmed it way too wide, you would be able to tell at this point. So, yeah, I think this is really fun. I am so happy that I changed to the gold. I was going to do it all in black. I am in love with gold. The best part about Kingstar fabric or Kingstar metallic thread is that it's metallic thread that you can use. It literally just works. And I can't tell you how happy that m makes me. I use them in just about every single design I do because everybody has a stash of metallic thread, right? Right? Yeah, everyone does. But you look at it and want to use it, but you know when you put it on your machine, it's going to be insane because you have to put it in a cup and move it over and it breaks all the time. This stuff doesn't. You saw me stitch all of this and there was no thread breakage at all. And that's what makes it so fun. So I'm able to embellish the designs even more because it's metallic thread you can actually use. And I love it for that. Yeah, I like the black outline on the whole thing, like the background of it. I think that's awesome. So happy. It is coming together. I'm going to take a quick drink here because I'm thirsty. Ah, much better. It's a little dry in here. It's warm outside though. We're having, we're finally our rain and storms are over and we're having a little bit nicer weather and that makes me happy too. It's, it's nice. Our hounds, we're just calling them the hounds. Um, the hounds are outside wrestling and playing and making a mess, pulling out sticks. We have a pile. Um, we had to cut down a couple of trees. They were, or I guess it's just part of one tree. But anyways, we just have a pile of sticks and it's their happy time that they just pull out sticks. Didn't uh, Tank pull out like a big branch or something, Don? Part of a tree stump, and he the, thought that the was, of the earth was on the pieces. pieces he thought that was the best toy ever, so yeah. We should get them, although it's almost impossible to go anywhere, but we should get them some of those big bones. I bet you neither dog has ever had dino one of bones? dino bones, yeah. Uh, they're not usually at the dollar store, are they? Yeah, we can't go in or anything, but that's okay. They could use it. Oh, I'm loving how this turned out. And for once, the back is going to look gorgeous because it's going to be black instead of one third white like it always is. But that's okay. I don't really turn it over anyways. That's my defense. I'm sticking to it. Yep. Don't be afraid to use your fabric that you like and put it together how you like it. You'll never know how great it is going to look. One of my favorite things that I've stitched is a quarter turn quilt. And for those of you who remember stitching it, and if you remember um, everyone posting it, it's from Anita Good Design. Probably one of the best designs ever. And I uh, stepped outside the embroidery box and I did it in Halloween colors. 
I also made a mistake, but I worked with it because uh, I wasn't going to start it again. But I tell you, it's absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous in Halloween colors. So yeah, think outside the block. I happen to love Halloween colors and the designs and everything. So I thought, hey, do what I love. That's the most important thing. Do what you love. You never know. My, you know, ideas and colors and fabric and stuff don't always work out, but a lot of times they do. My trick to it, if you want to know my secret, is that I have a lot of layer cakes. So a layer cake is a 10 by 10 square, and it's from a group, like a design group and everything matches so it could be the same print in five different colors or coordinating and you really can't go wrong when you use it like that and that has given me the start of what i need so if i find um you know a set of purples that i love i try to get the layer cake which is 10 by 10 charm squares which are five by five which would be perfect to for the label and for the top you could have you know coordinating fabric but different uh the 10 by 10 would work really well for the cup and it would all coordinate and that's sort of given me my kind of cues to learn how to work with the fabric and the threads that's what i account it to but it's it's kind of foolproof because the designers have designed it already oh i also if i really like like a christmas um layer cake i try to get some yardage or at least fat quarters i get most of the ones that i use almost all uh from uh craftsy which is now called my blueprint or blueprint. Um, they have sales. I only shop the sales because, you know, the exchange, exchange rate sucks. Um, but I get as many as I can on sale and I just have stashes. So when I'm doing a design, no matter what it was, I have different sizes. So pre-cut fabric for me is where it's at. I really like using it. And uh, I think on the last one, I've done a couple where I used, it, it kind of had bubbles on it and in different colors. Oh, it was amazing. It was amazing. Purple is still my thing for some reason. I guess, uh, ugh, it's getting kind of loud. Isn't that gorgeous? I guess today was gold because my nails are gold too. Isn't that cool effect? I hope you guys can see it well enough how it looks. Just fun, just fun. Oh, we are almost done. So the black around the edge and the gold here is literally what puts it together. That's what makes it, uh, this definitely has a wow factor for sure. I love it. Don will put up some of his minis, a little pack of minis maybe Don. So now the decorative stitch around it is going on. Yeah, looking good. Oh yeah. This has a little bit of sparkle in it too and the little hairs. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So I'm glad everyone's impressed I actually changed the bobbin. Remembered to and had it. Um, by the way, the Kingstar metallic thread you can also use in the bobbin. It works perfectly. Uh, I've done it a couple times. Two stitch uh, freestanding lace, if you can imagine. So I put, you know, gold in the top, gold in the bottom, and it is spectacular. I use the uh, lace charms from Dime that she already has stitched out because of course you guys all know I love lace my lace maker booyah so don't be afraid to use it metallic freestanding lace that that just I was so happy with that never never th before done oh no don't do a centering stitch all right we'll fix that Da -na -na, da -na. 
I wish it played like a different song when it's done. Finished embroidering, like Game of Thrones theme or something like that. So, okay, Don, back to the desk. So, what do you guys think? Ready? We're going to flip it over. This will be shocking. This will be shocking. Look at that. I did it. I did it. You did the whole thing. I, I did it properly. Wow. Guys, <laughs> giving me a hard time. I do, as my, as my daughter Beatrice will say, I do what I want. I don't know. I just have so many. It's really hard. You guys should try it. It's hard to talk and embroider at the same time and remember to do all the steps and this, that, the other thing. I think I'm pretty good at it generally. I just never remember that part. So I gave up even trying. But today just happened to be a really good day. There we go. So I'm just cutting out the WSS. I'm cutting it close, but not too close because you don't want to clip those stitches. Now, if you look really close up, look, you can see that some of these little hairs are poking through on the parts. It's because of the fabric and here as well. But if you put it down here, tell me how many you can see. A few down here. That's it. And that's how people are going to look at it. It just doesn't matter. I think it looks amazing. I'm really happy with that. So the last step is to just take a little, you don't have to soak this whole thing. Um, you can if you want to get rid of it in the middle. Um, but you could just take a Q-tip with water and just clean up the edges and they will be absolutely perfect. That's, that's a leopard print faux fur, isn't it? Faux. Or is it a leather or what is that? I'll have to ask some, um, Sandy, Sandy sent it to me. So it ribbon, I think it was called. Oh, ribbon. Yeah. yeah I think somebody mentioned that earlier. Yeah. Yeah. And I love it. Obviously, Sandy, I love it. It's amazing. Um, I first, I went to it and I thought, let's go groovy. Let's go something neat. But it does have texture on it and the little hairs. So that's part of what's going to show through like that. Just be aware, you know, the fabric you use has a lot to do with it. Um, you could do this with cotton, just regular as well. And... Uh, you, you wouldn't get all this. So it's the fabric I chose. I like it. I'm really happy with this design. I'm really happy with the gold. I think it would have still looked good with black, but I think the gold just absolutely brings it out. This is a great scrap buster, too. Watching. What? 413 watching. Yay! We must have some people in from the Creative Kiwi group, too. So welcome all. <laughs> that's awesome i love it that's a great number of people watching and if you so, missed any of it you can watch the replay yeah the replay it takes a minute for youtube to uh process it but it'll be up and when the replay is on if you're new and or if you missed part of this you can uh pause a lot of people will take their ipad to the machine and put it beside the machine and turn it up and you can pause, rewind, there's little buttons on the side that it can go back 10 seconds and then stop, do the step, that sort of thing. So, uh, yeah, the replay is your friend. If you need more help, it is right there for you. Um, I'm really happy how this turned out. I really love it. So are there any questions, Don? Um, nope. I don't have it in front of me, so... Um, thanks everyone for watching. Remember, what size did you do? You did five <coughs> by seven. I did the five by seven. The four by four one has a little pocket on the back, although you could have done that here as well. Um, the four by four, smaller, obviously, it's meant to fit a little card or something. So, two sizes, but yes, five by seven. So, remember to use your groovy fabric, try to put it all together. Don't worry if you make changes on the fly. They kind of work. I'm really happy with this. Um, so thanks everyone for watching. I hope you guys like this video. Like, share, watch till the end. 
Every little bit helps. We want to keep this going. So stay safe, everyone. Thank you for joining me for our happy embroidery time. We just love it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye, everyone.